Um, the week that we went live, it was extremely simple. There was nothing that our nurses or social workers had to do in addition to what they were already doing. Um, and then taking that a little bit further is our leadership team. Um, we are the ones who manage the program on the backside. And um, at first, it maybe took us five to 10 minutes a day to make sure that we were catching everything that the program told us we need to catch. Um, now, it simply takes us about a minute and a half um, a day to, to get the education out to the team on who, who's pulling up is critical, um, very high or high on news to increase those VFOs. And um, that's, that's simply what we do. So it's very, it's very easy to use. Yeah, that, that's fantastic. Uh, the key takeaway here is that the nurses in the field don't have to do anything extra, right? Um, what, one more question that I had is how has the Muse platform impacted your business uh, from a results standpoint? So are you seeing increased quality of care? Are you seeing what, what is your last seven days visits? Uh, how has that increased? Give me some insight to mm -hmm. what the results have looked like. Yeah, so I'm going to take a step back further than that. Um, going back to, the, to our implementation, um, we had a nurse who had been on, um, and Tom has heard this story before as well, but we had a nurse who had been with um, in hospice, working in hospice for 10 years, had been a nurse total for 30 years. And um, we implemented MUSE, and her patient was pulling up as um, critical on the MUSE program, which is the highest highest level, meaning that your patient is likely to decline and pass away within zero to seven days. Um, and so per, um, per utilization of the program, and I just said, we need to, we're going to, we're going to make sure that we follow this program. We're going to make it prove itself to us. If it doesn't prove itself to us, well, then that's fine. We don't have to follow it strictly, but let's make it not prove itself to us. We want, you know, we want to try and prove it wrong. So she said, okay, well, I'll increase the visits to seven days a week. So this was on a Thursday. Um, she saw her patient again on Friday. Um, the on-call nurse went and saw her patient again on Saturday. And the on-call nurse said, this patient is, is actually imminent. Well, the patient ended up passing away on Sunday. So this patient went from a nurse with all of this knowledge um, and assessment skills and all of this saying that this patient is in no way, shape or form imminent on Thursday to passing away on Sunday. So it was something within the documentation that the nurse put in there that Muse pulled over to show that this patient was likely going to pass away within those next seven days. You know, we've built up believers, our, our nursing team, our social workers, all of our team members are now believers in this program. And so um, taking that a step further than looking at what makes me a believer in the program is looking at our quality scores. Um, I talked about, you know, quality and revenue. So we implemented at the end of November. In December, our quality scores increased by two to three percentage points already, even after that short time of implementation. Um, and then our revenue for our service intensity add-on, because we increased those visits at the end of life, um, our service intensity add-on score doubled. So we were at about, um, you know, say, for, say we were at $7,000, we were up to $14,000 for service intensity add-on in December. Um, and so that was, that was phenomenal. We were super excited about that. Um, we saw our quality scores go up and we saw their revenue, revenue go up. Well, you're saying maybe one month could be a fluke. Maybe December was just a fluke month and that was just, you know, something that, that was crazy that happened. We saw the same impact in January, the exact same impact. Um, we've seen our quality scores go up and we've seen our revenue go up from that as well. And it's simply because we've pulled this program into our day-to-day -day life. Um, we have implemented a um, stand-up every morning. We call it our stand-up. It's really just an email that's sent out. So we pull up the news program and um, send it out to our clinicians, all of our team members, and whoever is pulling up on there, anywhere from high to critical, we increase their VFOs um, for our RNs and for our home health aides to seven days a week, and we increase our social workers to three days a week. So um, the social workers are in the RNs are obviously where we get that service intensity add-on, but we also look at the home health aid piece because that, that quality piece. You know, if the patient is, is needing an RN out there seven days a week, well, surely they're going to need a home health aid out there seven days a week too. So it beefs up that quality piece as well. So it has the impact to the SIA um, 
revenue increase that you guys has that impacted your staffing like are you guys able to hire more staff because of the impact to your SIA payments sure so we actually were able to hire on another social worker we're at an average daily census of about a hundred right now for our hospice patients and so we had we were at three social workers for the longest time due to the increase in the um, SIA payments of course we were able to add another social worker on to our staff, which ultimately is going to improve the quality of care. It's going to improve our availability to get out there for um, the patients three times a week during those last um, seven to 14 days of life, whatever it may be. Um, so yes, it, it has allowed us to do um, quite a bit more when we're looking at the service intensity add-on that we're getting in addition to what we were getting prior.